everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm going to film something a little bit different today and I'm actually going to try and make the whipped coffee that you've probably already seen on TikTok. It's huge on there at the minute. I'm going to try and make my own whipped coffee right here in my bedroom. What could possibly go wrong? So if you'd like to see me try and make this and tell you what it actually tastes like, then please keep on watching. So I was scrolling through TikTok as you do the other day and I saw this video and I thought, why not try and make that myself? It seems quite simple. Just went to get some hot water. I've actually boiled mine. In all of the videos that I've seen, it just says hot water. So I'm not sure how hot it actually needs to be, but I just thought I'd boil mine. I think I've got everything I need now, so let's get into it. I'll just switch the camera angle to show you everything that I need for the video. So obviously I've got some coffee. This is just regular instant coffee apparently it does actually have to be instant for it to work so that's what i've got i've got some sugar this is just some white sugar and obviously a bowl to mix it in I've also got some hot water i actually boiled it but i'm not sure how hot it needs to be so probably by the time i finish speaking anyway it's not going to be as hot i've also got a fork just to try and mix everything together at first i just want to see how it goes with this but then i also have an electric hand mixer it's meant to be two tablespoons of coffee two tablespoons of sugar and then two tablespoons of hot water we don't actually have a tablespoon here so i'm going to use a dessert spoon instead and just add a little bit more of everything just to make up for it i'm probably going to double it and i'm going to put four of each but if you have a tablespoon then it's just too. I'm gonna start with the coffee. I don't know if that's quite a lot. Maybe I'll just do that. It already seems quite a lot so I'm actually gonna do three of these spoons. Maybe two and a half, three instead of four because maybe that was a little bit ambitious. I'm gonna add the sugar now. Seems like a lot of sugar as well. I'm just gonna add a little bit more because they kind of were heaped as well. And I'm gonna add the hot water, which was boiling, but it is still very hot, so it should be fine. As they're not as heaped, I'm gonna add a bit more, so probably we'll do four of these. I'm gonna do one more, I don't know. I honestly have no idea if this is right or wrong. I'm gonna try and mix it with a fork, and then we're gonna go in with the electric hand whisk. So this is what it looks like so far. Now let's start mixing. I just wanted to use the fork to see how it would start the process off. And I feel like it's heading in the right direction. So I think I'm now going to switch to the hand whisk and just try and speed up the process a little bit. I'm only going to use this on the lowest setting and I'm also just going to use one of the blades because it's a very small bowl and I don't want to break it. So I'm hoping it's going to work with just one, but let's just give it a go. This is what it looks like so far. Let's give it a try. So I've been mixing it consistently for about two or three minutes. I mean, I don't think it's completely smooth yet, but it does look very similar to the videos I've seen. So I'm optimistic. It is very similar in color to the other videos. So I feel like it's heading in the right direction. I'm gonna give it another couple of minutes and just see what happens. But so far I'm quite impressed and it smells so nice. I feel like I'm in Starbucks right now. I'm not sure if it's the right consistency yet. I don't know if it's too thick. And I think we are about there. So I actually added another spoonful of water just before I mixed it again, which I think really helped actually mix it all together. Let's get this thing finished. So I just went to grab a glass to put this all into. I also put some ice in there to make it an iced coffee. And I also grabbed some milk as well. Obviously you can use any type of milk. I've just used this one, but you can use any variant that you like. And then this is how it turned out. So it's actually probably the right consistency now, I would say. Maybe it's a little bit thick, I don't know. But it smells so good. It's really, really strong. I don't know if there's a right and a wrong to how much milk you put in, so it's just going to be a bit of trial and error. I don't even know how much milk I've got in here. We'll go with that, and then I can always add more. I don't know how much of this you are meant to add. I've made a lot, so let's just put a lot in. I don't know if it's maybe a bit too thick. Well, we're meant to mix it in anyway. Let's just really push that in there. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess. It's probably not the most aesthetical drink. Let's just mix it. I don't feel mine looks as nice as some of the ones I've seen on TikTok, but as long as it tastes nice, that's the main thing, right? So this is what it looks like. It does look a little bit better now that I've mixed it all together. Popped a lid on with a straw. I'm not sure where this is from actually, but it's really nice. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh my god. It is so good. 
even my jumper and my hair kind of match it's actually so good i'm genuinely so surprised and there you have it that is the viral tiktok video of how to make the whipped coffee at home and it's actually really nice as well so i am super impressed that i tried this it just tastes like a normal iced coffee i know it sounds really obvious because that's kind of what it is i would definitely make this again it would probably be really nice in the summertime when it's nice and warm outside but it is a little bit of effort to make it but it is worth the effort trust me i'm gonna put all of the ingredients and stuff in the description box below so make sure you check that out if you want to make it for yourself also leave a comment down below and let me know how you get on if you do try i thought it was quite easy to make and it tastes really nice i would definitely recommend trying it for yourself Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Oh, that was ice. Oh, that was really strong on the bottom.